This is kind of an odd experiment. I want to find out if I heat an obsidian boulder up and then douse it in a bucket of cold water, will it shed its skin like an onion? Seems like a fun thing to try. You gotta stay back. All right. Here's an answer to a question. No one's really been thinking. So what the heck is the point behind this experiment? Well, years ago, we used to go mining in a place in Oregon called Glass Butte. And up there, it was a, a mountain of obsidian, and I would pick up buckets of obsidian shards, naturally produced, and I would bring them into my classroom and give them to the kids, which always makes their eyes sparkle, to show them how early human beings could take materials that were roughly already in the shape they needed and turn them into weapons. All right, try number two. It's quite a bit hotter this time. You know, they naturally flake out the heating and the cooling, and they, and they sort of peels like an onion. And I know that that's caused by thermal expansion and contraction in Mother Nature, and I wondered, would it be possible to uh, artificially create that? Because I'm out of my little chips. Uh, I'm out of my natural spear point arrowhead kind of things. And the boulders just aren't that impressive. But I have a pile of them. And I wondered would it be possible to artificially heat them up and douse them and create those chips. It's, it's kind of a failure. The entire rock was more or less cubed. And instead of breaking in large sheets, it broke up into little tiny oblong chunks. Nothing was thin. Whole thing, all the way through. Pulverized internally. So, it was a dismal failure. I hope to go back and try it again. This time I want to heat it up smoking hot, just like last time. Um, I want to heat it slower. I think I overheated it too quickly. And then rather than dousing it in water, I want to try to squirt it with squirt gun or you know, some sort of light misting stream and see if I can force just the outside to contract and flick off as opposed to turning the entire thing into these cube-like chunks you can see there in my hand. I handed out the cube-like chunks because I didn't have anything else to work with and the kids were happy to get them but it was a far cry from the beautiful thin flakes about the size of playing cards that I used to pass out. I mean, how are you supposed to carve your initials in your locker with with that little chunk? It just doesn't work. I don't think my idea worked very well, but... Dad, you want to make my table?